Hi everyone, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games and this is a tutorial series on building a Pong style game. Um, now, the reason that I'm choosing the Pong style game to do is because Pong is, uh, everyone knows what it is, it's the bouncing the ball around the screen and trying to stop it with the paddle. Uh, the other reason is that it's quite a simple style game and therefore it's not too complex in terms of the code and I think a lot of people will be able to pick this up pretty simple. So. Just to, uh, just to clarify that this uh, tutorial series is really aimed at beginners uh, in Unity. Now, uh, people with absolutely zero code experience or zero game experience should be able to follow along with this pretty easily, uh, downloading the same software and, and following the same code as what I'm actually going to type in, and then have a functional game at the end of it. So the other part of it is it's for also for intermediate guys who perhaps have some experience in other engines, say like Unreal, uh, or perhaps people that have done more of like environment or artwork and want to get into a little bit of coding on how to build a fully functional game inside of Unity. So this is really for you guys as well. Uh, and the style is quite flexible. So if you have any questions as, as we're going, I'm actually breaking up these videos into days. So, um, you know, I'm doing one video today and then maybe the second video tomorrow and so on. So that will hopefully help you guys. If you have any comments, you can leave them and then I can answer them in the next video. So, or answer them in a sort of questions video. So, uh, the the couple of points that I just want to mention is that uh, I won't be explaining all the programming concepts. Uh, I won't go into all details about what for loops are, or variables, or structs are, or uh, other programming concepts. It's going to be less theory and more hands-on, and actually getting the game built and then out in presented into your web browser so that you can play it and show people and, and, and so on and then you can build on that as well. So it's more of a hands-on um, uh, and less theory style of uh, tutorial. So the next thing is that uh, it's not going to be focusing on publishing the game into say the iPhone or the Android market. It's just going to be actually developing the game. I'm going to do a separate set of videos on making games for iPhones and Android and and how to actually get those into the market by deploying them onto the iTunes Connect website and onto the say the Google Play market or Amazon market and so on. So this is more about development. The the other thing is that I'm following a game that we that we built with my other business called Cobalt Play. Uh, the name of the game is uh, Ping Pong Pinball X. It should be on iPhone in the next two to three days, something like that, and it's already available on Android. So I'll quickly show you what the game is, so that, so that you know what we're going to be making and what we're going to be following. So this is this is it. I'm going to try and play from this angle, and it's real simple. Um, it's not a two-player pong game, as in you'd, you'd be sort of battling against your friend in a sort of tennis-style match. It's more of a single-player pong game that I believe was released on a bunch of consoles. Sort of back in the late 70s and early 80s. So you've just got to stop these balls from getting past. And they get faster and faster. But it's amazing how such a simple concept as Pong is still so playable and addictive even today. Uh, I'm very much of a small game fan rather than a, a sort of an Xbox or console fan. So, uh, but just to let you know, so that, that's the style of game that we're going to be following. And I'm actually going to use this as a model. So if you guys download it, it's available, like I say, on Android and on iPhone. I'll put the links down there once, once, it's, uh, uh, once I finish this video. And you can download and ask me if you have any questions. So uh, next point, let me just find this. So downloading Unity. Unity is the name of the software that we use to build our games. Uh, it's an excellent piece of, uh, it's an excellent game engine, and I, I highly recommend it. It's free to download for uh, certain publishing, but it's paid if you want to download it for iPhone and Android. But that's that's like an extra add-on later that you can have. But you can build games all the time completely for free. And then if later, if you wanted to deploy it to iPhone and Android, then you have to pay a licensing fee for that one. Um, but that's not the discussion for this video anyway. You can download for free and you can start to build games, no problem. So first thing is go to unity3d.com and click on the download, which is is in the top right hand side of the screen there and then once you get to this page which is unity forward slash download click on download unity and the latest version is 
I'm going to be using 3.4 for these videos, but you can use uh, 3.5 as well, and they'll be pretty much the same. There shouldn't be any major differences, especially in the code that I'm going to, going to write. It's not going to be anything major. Uh, but if you do see any kind of differences within the, um, uh, within the layout or if there's a button missing or something like that, uh, please let me know and I'll do my best to, to uh, re reply to that and help you to figure it out. Uh, leave a comment down below.